Hello, good morning, happy supercharge manifesting. It's another Monday to you, wherever in the world you might be. I'm gonna wait for a few people to join. We're talking about the cause of your suffering. Why are you suffering? Hey Donna, good morning, hey Deb. Good morning, good morning, hi Candy. Morning, 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 morning Mwah! to you awesome ladies. We're talking this morning about the cause of your suffering. Um, hi Eileen, good morning. All right, so as you can see, happy manifesting money. I love it. I think you meant to say Monday, but you said happy manifesting money. Hey Lisa, good morning. So here I am, my tropical paradise. I am now, I am now live from Jamaica. That is the next stop on this leg of the tour. And, and no worries, it won't be a new destination for another, for every Monday, the next couple of Mondays. Uh, I'll be here in Jamaica. So good morning. Hi, Sue. Good morning to you. I'm going to wait for... Hi, Paula. Good morning. I'm going to wait for uh, Diane to start sharing. But this conversation around suffering became very clear to me as something that we needed to talk about because originally the inspiration for this topic was a client of mine and then I realized that something had happened to me on my trip while I was in Croatia and I started the more I thought about it the more I realized how many times in my coaching even with my kids even with my own kids this topic of suffering and how we ch we are choosing sometimes to suffer but why and the advice that I give is is something that we should talk about because every Monday we're talking about supercharged manifesting supercharging our manifesting and the biggest thing behind our ability to do that is our energy so if we are not in our highest vibration in our highest energy then we are impacting the way we are able to manifest the things that we desire in our in our lives morning denny denny hey althea hey tanya lavinia is watching good morning so why are we suffering? What's the cause of our suffering? So I'm going to tell you the original inspiration for this conversation. A client of mine was in our coaching program doing really well. Things were, you know, when she started the program, she was, uh, she had a lot, she had a lot going on, like most people, but she, she really did have a lot going on. And as we were going through the coaching program, she was picking up steam, picking up momentum. She could see evidence everywhere. All these incredible things were happening. And she kept messaging me. The one thing I loved was she was constantly messaging me and saying, I am going to change my life. I am going I am so committed to this process, Tasha. I'm going to do everything you say because I really want to get it. I really want to change my life. So I just want, I want to share with you how, this was not someone that was flaking, right? She was totally committed to the process. And then one day she sent me a message and I could feel the weight that was on her heart because something had happened. Now, let me put this in context. The something that had happened was that her AC broke. But for her, for her, the AC breaking meant that all the work that she had been doing, well, one, it was a sudden unexpected cost, right? An unexpected expense. Here she was trying to attract money and create all this evidence of well-being and good things happening in her life. Who can relate? Like you're on a track, everything, you're doing all the right things, and then something happens and you go, what, what, now what, what does this mean? And that's, that's kind of the, the way she messaged me was, Tasha, please help me. I feel like the only reason this could be happening is because I'm doing something wrong. The only reason why I could be on momentum, all these great things are happening, and then suddenly my AC breaks, which is going to mean all this other stuff, right? And more money, trying to fix it, being hot for, for several days. The only reason why this could be happening is because what I'm doing, it must mean that it's not working. And so I want to just address that because immediately what she went into was suffering. 
Can you relate? I'm gonna pause for a moment. Can you relate? Things are going really well and then something happens, whatever it might be. You need to go to the doctor, the AC breaks, your kids call, um, you look at your bank account, whatever it might be, something happens and you take that thing that happened and you make it mean something. So I read this book a long time ago, very early in my journey and this goes my internet. So I always talk about the power of questions. And this question was, what do you make it mean? So whenever you find yourself in a scenario where you are suffering, you're very aware something has happened and now you are suffering. You are feeling bad, you're feeling worried, you're sad, you're anxious, you're depressed, you're whatever it is because this thing has happened. I want you to stop and go, what am I making it mean? So can you type? Because when you type, because I can't see if you write, but when you type, I know it connected in here and it's gonna stay planted. And two weeks from now, you're gonna message me and say, Tasha, something happened and I did. I said, what am I making it mean? So what are you making it mean? And that's the thing that happened in this case with my client. I said to her, okay, the AC is broken. Now, what are you making it mean? Because can you see that it's the meaning that you have assigned to it that's causing you to suffer? It is not that the universe stopped working, that God is no longer in your favor, that your angels are not all around, that you're not a badass manifester. It doesn't mean any of those things. It's the meaning that you have assigned to it that's causing you to suffer. So what am I making it mean? That's, I'm telling you, the key to ending your suffering. And I could tell you so many stories. I actually have another really great one from my trip that I wanna share with you. So as you can see, I was in Europe for five weeks, an incredible trip of a lifetime, and I had everything all planned out. I even planned four days of being unplanned, <laughs> right? So everything was all figured out. And as I'm going along, I'm getting ready to go to the next place, and I realize I have two days that I missed I totally missed those two days on the calendar and I have no place to go. And I start beating myself up so badly. You're irresponsible. Where are you gonna stay now? You have nowhere to stay. You're gonna create an you know, unnecessary expense. Like I'm telling you the beast in my mind came out and they just started on me. And it did, and I know you can relate to this. It took me a while to realize that I was the one causing my own suffering. And I'm telling you, my, my energy is going down. I'm getting sad. I'm getting, you know, messaging Diane, like the world is coming to an end because I realize I have two days unplanned and I am beating myself up so bad over this and making it mean I'm irresponsible, I'm all this stuff, like, and then I start questioning the whole trip. Who takes five weeks off anyway to travel to, to Europe? Like, who do you think you are? I mean, and the monsters, you know, once you give them a little opening, they, they sure just go to work, don't they? Like, and my little monsters had a little tiny opening with this incident and they just, they, they all just came out. So what I realized was I didn't have two days booked and I was making it mean all these things. And so I'm gonna give you the other thing that I use that's really powerful when you catch yourself suffering. So here it is, I want you to type this one too. I want you to type this one too. So here's number two. When you find yourself in this scenario, things are always working out for me. Things are always, always, always working out for me. If you want to switch from your suffering and whatever you've made this incident in your life mean, and you want to change the conversation in your mind and you want to get back to being empowered, here's what you affirm. Things are always working out for me. I do not care how dire and scary and large and you know, like you can't figure it out, whatever the incident is in your life, as long as you don't allow a meaning to be associated with it that's gonna cause you to suffer, you can always affirm this thing, no matter what has happened, things are always working out for me. One of the things that things, right, Candy? Candy, I know, things are always, always, 
always and the more I'm telling you you get so like full of energy behind that affirmation that you start to see like within minutes the way things work out for you so here's what worked out for me when I started affirming that on my way from Athens to Croatia, I actually flew, and as I was flying, as I was on that flight, I was looking down and I saw this mountain range that was like nothing I had ever seen in my life. And I, I called the flight attendant, I pressed the button, called the flight attendant over, and I was like, where is that? Which country is that? Because you know, my radar is, wherever that is, I'm going there next year, right? So where is that? And she said, I don't know, I'll have to ask the pilot. She never did ask the pilot. I landed, I went on with my trip. And on these two days that I did not have planned, guess where I ended up unbeknownst to me? Right, staying someplace in a little town, I can't even remember the name of the town, with the mountain range, I mean, right behind me, all the way driving to this town, my mouth was seriously just like this, like in complete awe of how things worked out for me and that's what I want you to know the moment you start transitioning from whatever has caused you to suffer and you change the conversation to things are always working out for me it is amazing the space that you create and the way that things really do always start working out for you so I want to encourage you this morning um, you know, just to start looking around in your life at the things that might seem, might have been seeming imperfect, might have been seeming like they're not working out, might have been seeming like when is it going to all come together and fit and, and make me feel like I have all the signs that I need. Stop looking for that and just start saying things are always working out for me. Things are always working out for me. And then what happens is you start getting evidence that they are. Hey, good morning, Tom. All the way from Bali. We got people from all over the entire globe today. And I want to say hi for those of you that joined later on. Hello from Jamaica. You can see it's pretty tropical. So you know I'm in a different place today. Um, so that's what I wanted to share with you because my commitment is to helping you manifest the life of your dreams. And sometimes the conversation has to be around what's stopping you from manifesting. And if you're in a suffering energy, if you're in sadness, if you're in that low vibration, then you've ineffectively, you've effectively blocked your ability to manifest the things that you want. It's kind of like you've put in all the work and then now your energy is stopping you from receiving. So I want to make sure that you're always in receiving mode and one of the most powerful ways is to really look at, you know, ensuring that the events of life, because it's life, things are always going to happen. The events of life are just events of life. And when they happen and you find yourself giving meaning to them, stop and ask, what am I making it mean? What am I making it mean? And, and create the space to make it mean something else, right? Usually you make it mean something bad. Oh my goodness, the AC broke. It must mean that da 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 da. The other thing could be AC broke. It must mean the universe wanted to create an opportunity for me to get a new one for free. You could make it mean something else and literally end the suffering right there. All right, so that's my share for this morning. Hashtag joy, because I really wanted to switch the conversation from suffering to joy. Oh, another quick story I had about this. By the way, for those of you with kids, I use this all the time with my kids. My daughter especially is in college and you know college is really stressful and she'll call all the time with her anxiety and her stuff that's going on and I totally understand, I totally, un I totally get that the environment that she's in, the phase that she's in in her life, it's, it, there's a natural tendency for things to seem overwhelming. And so my advice to her, as I am giving to you and you can share with your kids, is to start affirming things are always working out for me. I always tell her that, oh my God, I think I got a this on the test. I'm going to fail a class and my GPA is, and, and the world is coming to an end. And it's, things are always working out for you, honey. Remember? And then sure enough, two weeks later, I get the call. Oh my God, mom, I can't believe it. I got an A on the class. Of course you did, because things are always working out for you. Remember? Things are always working out for you. So things are always working out for you. Mwah. Have a great Monday and go look for evidence of how things are working out 
for you. I love you guys. Bye from Jamaica. Have a wonderful week. I'll continue this, look to continue this conversation on, um, on Facebook. So hopefully you're in our Facebook group, Money Attraction Challenge. You want to make sure you, you are there because as you know, we're getting ready to do the biggest money attraction challenge we've ever done in August. So you want to make sure you're in that group well ahead before we get started because it's going to be like nothing we've ever done before. I am oh my gosh i am in download mode for all this traveling super download mode lots of great things lots of great ideas it is going to be incredibly powerful teaching and amazing transformative so you want to be in that group money attraction challenge if you're not there make sure you search on facebook and join the group all right bye guys have a great week talk to you soon bye bye